Hi, David. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Lovely. So as a genuine fan of the show and of your work on the show, this season has just been the best one yet. And every season is so good. But this season, right? Really, That's what yeah. I keep saying. I keep saying this. The, I think the seasons get better and better uh, each year. Two was better than one. Three was better than two. And now here we are. I think I think we've delivered our best season of SWAT yeah. yet. Yeah. Yeah. So how's your past year been going? Oh, well, it's been, it's been crazy. Uh, uh, you know, I've been in this little SWAT bubble for the past uh, nine months. Um, so it, it, we felt very safe there. Uh, our, our producers and showrunners, Sony, CBS, uh, did a, a tremendous job in uh, doing all the, the legwork so that we could come back uh, safely. Um, and, and we were able to come back uh, you know, we, we were one of the few shows that did not get shut down due to uh, COVID, COVID related reasons, um, which I think contributed to uh, us getting a, a fifth season renewal. Um, but it's been a lot of fun. It's, it's, I think we were all thankful uh, to get to go back to work and continue to do what, uh, what we love. Um, and so that's kind of, it's kept us on a routine with the early wake ups and the long hours. And uh, it, it, our writers, I think, did a, an incredible job of, of really delivering just top notch scripts uh, this season. And they kind of had to because we were limited on what we could do with uh, our action this year because of, of, of COVID. Um, so they they really had to bring it, and, and I think they delivered. And as actors, we were super excited to you know uh, get get great scripts and do our best to uh, to put them on screen. Yeah. So a dominant theme on the show has been putting in the work, which you definitely mm -hmm. do with your stunt work and your layered performance on the show. So can you talk about some of your work that you're most proud of on the show? Oh yeah, I, I mean, I, I love, I was a, an athlete growing up. Um, uh, as I get older, the athleticism is, is fading away a little bit, but while I still got a little of it, I love to do uh, uh, the action. I love to do, uh, you know, we probably all do, you know, 70% of our own uh, stunts on the show um, when they let us. And, and I, I love that part of the aspect. It, it keeps it exciting. Uh, as a viewer, I think we all, you know, love that edge of your seat kind of action. Uh, I think we bring some of the best action on, on uh, certainly on network television. Uh, and like I said, with the, with the, the scripts that they gave us uh, this year, I think uh, my, my character uh, in, in particular has had some great uh, meaty stuff uh, to, to deal with. And uh, it, it's a lot of fun to to work on that. I, I go. I always go back to, I think it was the fifth fifth episode of of season four where uh, the Tan character had to deal with uh, a a uh, the bad guy who, who was schizophrenic. It brought up old memories of his father who was diagnosed with uh, schizophrenia when when Tan was a kid, and uh, he kind of had to, you know, uh, navigate. Uh, through that and, and kind of help uh, bring down this bad guy. Um, and, and for me as an actor, that was a, it's a, just a ton of fun to uh, kind of work on stuff like that. Things that you never uh, have researched or, or that you just didn't know a lot about. Uh, and then all of a sudden in, in, in a couple of weeks, you, you just, you know, you gather a bunch of knowledge and, and, and uh, of course you don't become an expert on it, but you, you learn enough uh, uh, to kind of bring it to your performance. And, and, and for me, that, that was a lot of fun. Amazing. So as you were saying, the scripts really delivered a lot of timely, relevant topics this season. So what's been some of the feedback to you about what's happening with Tan and what's happening on the show? Um, you know, I think the, uh, for the most part, I think the feedback has been, has been positive. Uh, and good and and getting a fifth season renewal is is you know uh, that's the result you know so we must be doing something right yes. um, and I think that's what what has drawn a lot of viewers uh, into into the show is that we're talking about things that are that are happening 
uh, in the world today. And I think uh, as, a, as a viewer, you, you appreciate that. Sometimes it hits a little too close to home, but, <laughs> but that's, that's the world we live in. And, and uh, so our writers, they do, they do a great job of, they don't run away from it. They, they take what's happening uh, in the world and, and we bring it to the show and they do it very thoughtfully and uh, I think very honestly and uh, from, from different points of view. And uh, it's, it's fun to be a part of that. And I think the, the feedback is, is, is really nice, really good. Amazing. So you seem to get along really well with Shamar Moore. What's it like working with him? Uh, it's, it's all right. It's all right. You know, it has, no, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm blessed to be, be a part of the show, uh, with him. We, we hit it off from the get go, you know, four years ago when we started filming our pilot and we've only become, uh, you know, much closer. Um, he lives a mile down the road from me. So we're, we're kind of stuck with each other now. Um, <laughs> But I, I love working with him. I can't say enough about him. He's just, he's, he's, a, he's a great leader. Uh, he, he's a phenomenal uh, actor. Um, and, and he's just, you see what you see on, on TV, but, but behind that, uh, when the cameras aren't rolling, he's just a, a really good uh, down-to-earth guy. Uh, and, and you love seeing that with, with the people that you look up to, with people that you see on, on television or in movies. Um, so I think I think we'll be friends uh, long after SWAT and certainly while SWAT's going and, and we're stuck with each other 10, 12 hours a day, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll have some fun while we're doing it. <laughs> Amazing. So what are you excited for viewers to see coming up? We got, we have a big tan episode coming up, believe it or not. Yeah. So the next yeah. episode, I think for us, it's in two weeks. Uh, we have a nice little tan episode. Um, uh, it, you, you'll see him doing a little, you know, surfing. We haven't seen that before. He's coming from the beach. Uh, there's a bank robbery that goes down uh, a couple blocks away. Boom, he's off to the races. Uh, a bit of an homage to, to to bad boys, if you remember those movies, running through the streets, shirts flailing all over the place, yelling at bad guys. Um, so that, that'll be fun. And then you'll see, uh, uh, you know, he's been talking about this pending marriage and engagement um, all season and uh, it, it come the finale, which is going to be, I, I believe, four episodes from now, you'll kind of see some of that story wrapped up. We got to tie up some loose ends now that we're getting yes. down to the finale. And thankfully, we'll, we have another season to, you know, continue to dive deeper into the Tan character. Um, it, it, but uh, like you said, I think with each season, uh, and that's kind of the beauty of getting so many episodes because um, we have a big cast, uh, but with each season and getting 18 to 22 episodes, you can really get, get uh, dig into each character, which I think we've, uh, the writers have done a nice job over, over the past four seasons. Yeah. So everyone's hooked on SWAT. What have you been watching lately that you're really into? Uh, we just finished my wife and I succession, which, which was awesome. Oh my goodness. We're kind of late to the game on certain shows that like we should have watched, uh, you know, a few years ago when, when everyone was talking about them, but we eventually make it, we eventually make it. So, uh, succession, uh, we were, we're watching the leftovers right now, uh, which is also yeah. a great show. Um, and, and SWAT, that's our thing. Like we, we you know, me, uh, uh, my wife and our pup, we, we, we sit down on the, on the couch every Wednesday night and, and we watch SWAT as a family. Amazing. So as a viewer, what do you love about SWAT? Oh, what, uh, what's, what's not yeah. the love about, yeah, it's, it's a fun, uh, <laughs> it's a fun show. I think people see how much fun we have from our posts and our videos and the behind the scenes and, uh, even on screen, I think we all have a great, a great chemistry. So you can tell we, we have a lot of fun doing the show. And it's, it's a lot of fun to, to work on. Um, you know, one, we get to stay at home in LA. Uh, most shows, you know, you have to travel outside of LA to, uh, you know, to, to make these shows. Um, so we get to be at home. We get to run around. We get to do cool, 
car chases and explosions. And uh, just the other day, uh, uh, we were up in a helicopter, you know, flying over uh, LA. So it's the kind of stuff that as an actor, you, you have to pinch yourself and, 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 and it's the kind of stuff that you, you've, I think you've always dreamed of doing since you were a little kid is, is running around, being an action hero. Um, so, so we're all just trying to, I think, enjoy the journey as much as we can. Cause the sooner or later, you know, it will, it will come to an end. No. Um, but, but <laughs> maybe not, maybe it'll, maybe it'll continue to go forever. I, if the fans want it, you know, we'll, we'll probably continue to make the show. Um, but, uh, we, we have, it's a lot of fun to work on the show. We're, we're very blessed. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, David. Thank you for your work. Thank you for Tan. I uh, can't wait to see more of the show and more of you on the show. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much. It was so nice <laughs> speaking with you.